Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna quickly go through the campaign stage 4920 before the update. I think my roster have already become way too strong for chapter 49. First enemy squad, Thomas. Of course, I'll use the martial team. And you can tell that I'm too strong for the AI because I don't need to make any adjustment for that Vela. Zilong will leave Thomas towards the front. That's why I have Editel in the top lane to shoot him down. Second squad, I'm using Valor and Gathot. This combination will prevent Hellcurt from jumping to the back line. However, since Hellcurt is the boss in this fight, I can't stop him from casting skill, so we're expecting to be silenced at some point. The concern is actually with Gadita. When she serves over, she might be able to kill my Valor. We'll see. For the third battle, well, when Saber is in front along like this, he's actually faster than your Xbox. Even if you leave Xbox in the top corner, Saber won't follow him. He will jump to the bottom corner instead. So I set up my Alice in the top corner to charm Saber and make him walk back to the front. So I only have Vexana left for the last battle. This is quite an annoying setup by the AI, cause Hellcurt is in the back line, and it makes it much harder for Vexana to target God. I have Xbox and Saber at the back to make sure that Hellcurt won't be jumping over, but I have no idea which enemy is gonna be the first target of Vexana. Anyway, the boss Kadita will get banished and I'll try to cancel God with my Lolita. Let's just go with this.
Yu Zhong. Man, this guy is insane. I'll make a video about him shortly after this. But whether I'll build him or not will greatly depend on the results of today's chart opening. 1,100 shards. If I get one Zhu Zhong, that will be a sign to make him, right? <laughs> Here we go. Ah, Lunox! Unimero! Oh man! <laughs> okay, that's fine. No, Zhu Zhong! <laughs> One Angela, that's great. Oh, Kagura, I can make her seven stars. She's great in Guild Boss. So we can't make Zhu Zhong then. I don't have enough sacred scrolls to get him to nine stars, so. And no Hanabi again! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with my account? Right, so 10 vessels got revamped, and the two most controversial changes are in Vela and Angela. Vela can now only gain up to 60% attack as opposed to the maximum 75% previously. But the condition for his attack gain is much better. Every time he does his Thorin passive, he gains 12% attack. This is way more consistent than the old buff where he must kill someone with his ultimate for 25% attack up. For the old vessel, sometimes an ally can finish off the enemy and Valor doesn't get any buff at all. And also at high level PvE, it usually took Valor several ultimates to kill someone, so the buff came very late into the battle. I believe the new vessel is obviously a buff for Valor. I don't know why they wanted to buff him, but I love it. As for Angela, 
she lost a very important skill where she prevents one fatal attack on an ally. But in return, she now buffs 10% more attack up to 30%. And she can cast skill a lot more often as she uses less energy to buff ally. Now, the loss of defense buff could impact people who've been using Angela to buff Lolita. But I never did that. I only use Angela to buff damn dealers like Vela or Alice. So the new Angela is perfect for me. The only problem I have is that now I need to get her vessel to level 30 so she can cast skill at 700 energy. It's gonna take me a while to do that. Okay, let's see how they perform in the Tower of Babel. This is floor 929. 6.7 million versus 13. I'll let you know whenever Vela again his attack buff. Floor 930 Will let Saber jump toward Lunox and Angela will help Vela cancel Xbox damage. Man, this is gonna be way too easy for Vela. <laughs> I know it's gonna be easy, but I didn't think it would be that easy. Why the heck are they buffing Vela? Okay, so there are three other noteworthy changes. The first one is Argus. His new vessel is a total buff, and it is finally justified to enhance his vessel to at least level 20 for that sweet 50% damage reduction. I'll start doing that now. The second one is Chang E. Her ultimate will now deal critical damage to anyone whose HP is above 35%. This is great news for me, cause people have been telling me there will be 5 bosses overdrive stage, so I need another damn dealer, and Chang E is perfect for that role. I'll start working on her after chapter 49. The last one is Freya. Now, she suffers a huge loss when they remove her passive heal per second. However, they gave her a new ability at level 20 that will stun enemies for 1.5 seconds. If you've been investing in Freya's vessel, congratulations! You now have a great skill canceller for the enemy's backline. This is an extremely important ability, especially for the light tower where a dangerous enemy like Alice hiding in the backline and there's nothing you can do to stop her from casting skill. Freya can now help you do that. Right, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!